Clara Bonfante Knuchari was born in August 18th, 1915. Um, this morning, she passed away. She was 98 years old. Um, Clara's last few years have been much slower than her first 95. Um, she did enjoy seeing her family um, and friends. She was ready to go. She wanted to pass away in her sleep, and early this morning she did that. She was not in pain, um, and she lived a very full life. She would tell us this many times, even before she was in her 90s, how full her life was. Um, it was only until about seven years ago when I started filming her that the rest of the world learned how full her life was. I was very happy to share Nana with everyone. Um, her recipes for helping people get through the hard times and her stories to help you get through the hard times with a smile. Um, she was very special to us and her friends and I know that she's been very special to many people who've seen her here. Uh, we want to continue to share Nana's work with you. Anything else that hasn't previously been shown here I'd like to put up here soon so we can keep her legacy going. She loved hearing from her fans. It meant a lot that people were touched by her simple lessons. Nana never liked to be filmed. She wouldn't even allow me to take pictures of her. Um, when she was 91, she knew that I had been studying photography and film and asked, made one request, and that was that I would take the picture that would be at her funeral, would be shown at her funeral. She had a, a picture from the 1940s when she was young and beautiful, as she said. And uh, she wanted one where she was older but proper. So I agreed to take her a picture, but she had to agree to let me film her. And that's how this all started. She was very reluctant at first and was embarrassed about the whole thing. But as soon as she heard all the feedback from you guys, she enjoyed making these, these videos. Um, she would have continued to do so, of course, but age caught up with her and it was just too hard so we stopped. I've lived a long life and I enjoyed being with you people but now I think I'm gonna to have to retire and take it easy for the last few years of my life or maybe not even that long. <laughs> I hope I live past 100. I don't know if I'll make it. If I do live that long I must on my 100th birthday, I'll cook a special meal for all of you. Thank you very much. Um, it's been a great journey for both of us. Uh, I know Nana especially has had a, a fun time doing these. I wanted to share Nana with the world because she was my favorite person in the world. That's what it really came down to. Everything that has happened because of it has just been extra. Being able to spend time with somebody you love and respect and who doesn't have many years left is, is such a blessing. And I, I can't believe how lucky I've been to be allowed to spend time with my grandmother and learn from her in her last years. It's been a true blessing. And I, um, I, I'm just so thankful for it. And I hope that you've enjoyed being a part of it. If you can do anything in Claire's memory, please do this. Find someone you haven't seen in a long time, someone older, wiser than you, and sit down with them. Enjoy your favorite treat, drink, whatever it is. And just listen. Just listen to their stories. You know, people who've been around have, have accumulated so much information that we just overlook. We, we assume if you're older, you know, you've, your time has passed, but that's not true. We can learn so much from each other. I learned so much from my grandmother, and I'm glad I had the chance to share it with you. But I, I hope everybody just follows this example and documents their, their mentors, their, their elders. Today, Claire has left us, but we'll always have her kitchen. We'll always have those experiences that she had in our hearts, and those recipes, and our stomachs. And I hope that you enjoyed this as much as we have. She was 98 years old and lived every day of her life. We're all lucky to know her.
Thank you. Are you close with God? I hope so. <laughs> Talk to me about um, about the afterlife. What about it? <laughs> what do you think it is? <laughs> I don't know. I hope it's good. I hope it's better than here. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you're very religious, right? Well, I don't think I'm very religious. I'm religious, not very. I could be better. <laughs> but in the morning you pray, right? I pray in the morning. I pray at night. I pray when I eat. I pray <laughs> when I sleep. <laughs> and do you think that'll help you? I hope so. I'm hoping. Who's going to be in heaven? My husband, my mother, my father. I'm waiting to see them. I remember when I was um, as a kid, and you told me I'm gonna I'm gonna die this year. This is probably when you were in your 80s. <laughs> when I was young, when you were young. <laughs> and you told me that, or we made a deal, you and I. And oh. I said, if you go to heaven, you gotta let me know what it's like. Okay. <laughs> Are we still on? I, we're still on. But you said you wouldn't scare me. What, what, if, what if I don't go there, then what? <laughs> don't say a word. <laughs> I don't want to know. If you don't go there, I'm not going Okay. There. I will tell you. 